Hello friends, this video on life processes part 26 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now try to understand the functioning of the human heart. I mean, we have understood the circulatory system inside the human body as a whole, that how blood flows inside a human body. But now what we are trying to understand is, what is the cause of the beating of the heart? Why does the heart beat? What is that thing which happens inside the heart which makes it beat? Now, as I said, the heart consists of the auricles and the ventricles, the right and left auricle and the right and left ventricle. So here what happens? The, the auricles and the ventricles, they have muscular walls because of which those muscles can uh, contract and relax. Now this contraction and relaxation of the auricles and ventricles actually lead to the beating of the heart. Now why does the auricles and the ventricles relax or contract? Let us have a look. Now here also you see this blue color will represent the deoxygenated blood and the red color will represent the oxygenated blood. Let us try to understand the process step wise. The first step is the auricles receive blood. As I said auricles are the receiving chamber so they will always receive blood. Now while receiving blood the auricles will remain in relaxed state because whenever any object receives something that doesn't contract. For example, in case of lungs also we saw that when we breathe in, the lungs expand, they do not contract. Similarly, when the auricles receive blood, the auricles will be in a relaxed state. Because during receiving blood, more space is needed by the incoming blood. So the auricles relax. So the relaxation state is known as diastole. The term diastole is used for the relaxation state. So this relaxing state of the auricles is referred to as auricular diastole. So when does this happen? Now here you can see that the blood is entering into the auricles. So the auricles are in a relaxing state. Clear? Now the auricles that is the left auricle and the right auricle contract. Now once the auricles have received blood, so initially the auricles were relaxing, now both the auricles have received blood. The left auricle received the oxygenated blood from lungs and the right auricles received the deoxygenated blood from different body parts. Now both the auricles have received blood. Now once they have received blood, the auricles contract and the bicuspid and tricuspid valve opens. So where do we have the bicuspid and tricuspid? Let us suppose this is the right auricle, this is the left auricle, this is the right ventricle and this is the left ventricle. So between right auricle and right ventricle we have the tricuspid valve. So this is my tricuspid valve. We said RTR between right auricle and right ventricle we have tricuspid valve. Between left auricle and left ventricle we have the bicuspid valve. So now once both the auricles are filled with blood, they have received blood. So once they have received blood, what happens? The tricuspid valve and the bicuspid valve, these two valves open. Now what will happen if this valve opens? This blood will start flowing from right auricle to right ventricle, right? And after that, this valve will close. So the blood will remain in the right ventricle. Now similarly, when this valve will also open what will happen blood will flow from the left auricle to the left ventricle and once the blood flows into the left ventricle this will get closed now when the blood flows out of something that object will contract right like when the auricles were receiving blood they were relaxing similarly when the auricles are sending blood they will contract so that is why in step two what happens the both the auricles contract bicuspid and tricuspid valve opens so what happens to the blood flow? Blood flows from right auricle to right ventricle. Blood also flows from left auricle to left ventricle. So that means this blood flow will happen and this blood flow will also happen. So this is my second step. So that means at the end of the second step, what is happening? All the blood is there in the ventricles. All blood is collected in the left ventricle and the right ventricle. 
So now when the ventricles were receiving blood, so the ventricles were also relaxing. So that means in this stage, when the auricles are contracting, what do you, we say? We say this is auricular systole. Systole is used for contraction and the word diastole is used for relaxation. So when the auricles contract, that is called auricular systole. But at the same time, in the same step, when the blood is flowing from the right auricle to right ventricle, what is happening to the ventricles? The ventricles are actually relaxing because the ventricles are getting blood. So this is also known as ventricular diastole because the ventricular ventricles are actually relaxing while receiving blood from the auricles. Now in the next step what happens? The ventricles contract because now the ventricles are filled with blood and the bicuspid and the tricuspid valve closes. So that means all the blood gets collected in the right ventricle and the left ventricle. Okay. Now what happens? The pulmonary and aortic valve opens. That means where is the pulmonary valve? This is the pulmonary valve. This is pulmonary valve and this is aortic valve because this is connected to the aorta. This is the aorta and what is this? This is the pulmonary artery. Right? Now these two valves will open. Now what will happen if this valve opens? The blood which was collected here in the right ventricle, it will start flowing out to through the pulmonary artery. So something like this will happen. This valve will open and therefore the blood will flow out from the pulmonary artery. Correct? So the blood flow from right ventricle to the lungs and also from left ventricles to the body. So you saw the movement of blood how this deoxygenated blood which came to the right auricle this was deoxygenated blood it was coming from the different body parts so this came into the right auricle then the blood was entering right auricle their auricles were relaxing once it got filled with blood it started contracting and this valve opened so the blood entered into right ventricle when the blood was entering into right ventricle the ventricles were relaxing which is called the ventricular diastole once the ventricle was filled with blood this valve opens and the blood flows into pulmonary artery and then the ventricle ventricles contract and this is called ventricular systole now the similar things happens also in the left auricle so that also you can see from this animation now the blood first enters into left auricle when this valve opens it flows from left auricle to left ventricle now the bicuspid valve closes and what happens to the ventricles the ventricles will now start contracting because it is filled with blood and now the aortic valve opens. When the aortic valve opens, this blood flows to the aorta. So through aorta, where does it go? It goes to the different parts of the body because the aorta will actually take it to different body parts. So it will go back to different parts of the body. Clear? And what does this show? This shows nothing but the lungs. So now you can understand this diagram. What does it say? From different parts of the body, deoxygenated blood comes. It goes to the right auricle. From there, it goes to right ventricle. From right ventricle, it goes through the pulmonary artery to the lungs. In the lungs, the deoxygenated blood, the carbon dioxide is thrown outside the body through nostrils and the oxygenated blood is passed to the left auricle. From left auricle, it goes to left ventricle. Then it goes through the aorta to different parts of the body. So I hope that now you understood the entire process. So in this entire process, did you observe one thing? That at periodic intervals of time, the auricles and the ventricles keep contracting and expanding. And this contraction and relaxation is actually interpreted as heartbeat. This contraction and relaxation gives rise to the beating of the heart. So here you can observe the same process once again. The deoxygenated blood flowing from right auricles to the ventricles. And then through the pulmonary valve goes out to the lungs. Where similarly the oxygenated blood from the lungs enters from right left auricle to the left ventricle through the bicuspid valve and then when the aortic valve opens it moves through the outer to different parts of the body thank you 
please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.